from the book Morley and Me by Josh Grogan. In it, the author is talking about writing the obituary for Morley. I quoted my father who, when I told him I had put old, the old guy down, gave me the closest thing to a compliment my dog had ever received. There will never be another dog like Marley. I gave a lot of thought to how I should describe him. And this is what I settled on. No one ever called him a great dog or even a good dog. He was, a, he was as wild as a banshee and as strong as a bull. He crashed joyously through life with gusto, most often associated with natural disasters. He was the only dog I've ever known to get expelled from obedience school. I continued, Marley was a chewer of couches, a slasher of screens, a slinger of drool, a tipper of trash cans. As for brains, let me just say he chased his tail to the day he died, apparently convinced he was on the verge of a major canine breakthrough. There was more to him than that, however, and I described his intuition and empathy, his gentleness with children, his pure heart. What I really wanted to say was how this animal had touched our souls and taught us some of the most important lessons of our lives. A person can learn a lot from a dog, even a loopy one like ours, I wrote. Marley taught me about living each day with unbridled exuberance and joy, about seizing the moment and following your heart. He taught me to appreciate the simple things, a walk in the woods, a fresh snowfall, a nap in a shaft of winter sunlight. And as he grew old and achy, he taught me about optimism in the face of adversity. Mostly, he taught me about friendship and selflessness, and above all else, unwavering loyalty. It was an amazing concept that as that I was only now, in the wake of his death, fully absorbing. Marley as mentor, as teacher and role model. Was it possible for a dog, any dog, but especially a nutty, wildly uncontrollable one like ours, to point humans to the things that really mattered in life? I believed it was. Loyalty, courage, devotion, simplicity, joy, and the things that did not matter too. A dog has no use for fancy cars or big homes or designer clothes. Status symbols mean nothing to him. A waterlogged stick will do just fine. A dog judges others not by their color or creed or class, but by who you who they are inside. A dog doesn't care if you are rich or poor, educated or illiterate, clever or dull. Give him your heart, and he will give you the, his. It was really quite simple, and yet we humans, so much wiser and more sophisticated, have always had trouble figuring out what really counts and what does not. As I wrote that farewell column to Marley, I realized it was all right there in front of us. If only we opened our eyes. Sometimes it took a dog with bad breath, worse manners, and pure intentions to help us see. <laughs>